My name is Chris Ham. We are Global Scrap Management in Batavia, Ohio. Global Scrap Management started in 2003 uh, as a small brokerage in Milford, Ohio. Uh, we had three employees at the time. In 2008, we expanded that to include some scrap processing and uh, we added some transportation and added some staff. Uh, and then 2011, to try and close the loop on recycling, we actually added uh, the smelter here in Batavia. There are a lot of reasons why Claremont County was very attractive for us. Uh, one, I'm from here, so I'm very familiar with the area, and that helps um, understanding kind of some of the, the culture of the area and the workforce. And it was very attractive to us uh, because I think there's a lot of skilled labor in this county right now that's fairly untapped. And I think that for us it was good because we were able to bring in people right away uh, to learn our system and to learn how we do things and, and train up very quickly. Uh, the other piece of its proximity, the location for us is fantastic. Most of our customers are automotive. The automotive corridor really is Interstate 75. Uh, you go from Detroit where you have more of your traditional American owned automotive companies to the south of us which is uh, quite a few transplant companies and uh, whether they be Japanese or German uh, or Korean there's a lot of new companies that have kind of developed in that area. We're in a location that allows us to try and service both sides of that. We've really got a nice proximity here. And then also another product we make is for steel mills and steel mills are generally aggregated along the Ohio River Valley and uh, for us that also makes a lot of sense. So it's a cross-section of, of really our two big customer bases. And the access to the interstate system is very important because most of our material moves by truck not by rail and so we can get to our customers rather quickly from this kind of central location. Uh, the other piece of it really is that uh, you know, we, we didn't have many smelters in this area. So one of the keys for us is the raw material. And raw material is scrap. There's quite a bit of aluminum scrap that's generated in the area with no smelters very close. Transportation being a big piece of our business, uh, it allowed us to be closer to the raw material, which reduced cost and, and made us um, uh, create a product that was, uh, was more affordable, I think. Generally, when you recycle aluminum, it's about 15% of the cost versus a mine door and making primary aluminum. You can recycle aluminum over and over and over again without losing any quality or any characteristics of that aluminum. So 75% of aluminum ever made is still recycled and still being used today. In 2014, we did about 75 million pounds of scrap that we took scrap and converted into ingot or other products that they can be used for in lots of different applications. We, we can take the molten aluminum and pour it into one of three different areas. We have a, um, a small cone that we make for the steel industry. It's called a deox product. We also have a large profile, uh, what they call aluminum sow, which is about 1,700 pounds. And then we have an aluminum ingot, which is about 22 pounds, and we can produce any three of those. Uh, for our part, um, recycling is about uh, you know, taking the scrap and turning it into something that is a high quality specification alloy for both automotive users, uh, some steel customers as well. We work very closely with uh, Andy Kukta and Adele Evans at the uh, at Claremont County's Economic Development Department in finding this location. For us and the type of business we do, we're very unique and really finding the perfect location for what we do is, was critical and this really worked out well. At the time, you know, the story with this facility was that uh, it was fairly empty. I think at the time that we came in, there were two other tenants, and uh, they were really looking to try and refill this after Ford had left as a transmission place in 2007, 2008. And uh, the space was ideal, the lease terms were ideal, uh, the ability to start right away because you had a ready-made facility was fantastic, and so they were very, very helpful. And not only that, we also worked on a lot of programs with them and in combination with the local banks on, um, on ways for us to finance our growth. And, and really they were extremely helpful in both of those areas. We have a very business friendly local government right now that is very much into public-private partnerships. I mean this facility here wouldn't have happened without a public-private partnership which was very important because it could have been a field and instead you've got a, a very working community here with a lot of great jobs and that wouldn't have happened without the, the vision of, of our local leaders to try and make sure we keep this plant in place.